In today's world, as threats get more sophisticated, so do the methods we have to use in the security world, and in particular Cisco Umbrella, to combat them. I'm Johnny Noble, I'm based here in San Francisco, and today I'm going to walk you through a new statistical model that our researchers have put together to combat these threats. SenderRank identifies malicious domains based on patterns observed relating to spam campaigns. Cisco Talus uses different techniques to counter spam and other email attacks. By collaborating with Talos, Umbrella researchers understood that Umbrella also sees a lot of data concerning spam patterns, which provides insight into the evolving of in-the-wild hailstorm campaigns. This model identifies the rapid execution of hailstorm attacks and pivots that knowledge into predictive insights about other domains that are likely going to be used in future attacks. These predictions are based on the guilt by inference assumption. You may have heard of Hailstorm, which is a method that attackers use to distribute spam. Hailstorm is an evolution of Snowshoe. Both are methods that attackers use to stay under the radar and prevent detection by volume or reputation-based engines. Snowshoe attacks send smaller volumes per sender domain over long periods. The trickling of the small volumes of messages is the technique that they use to avoid the detection. In contrast, hailstorm attacks are over shorter time spans but very high in volume. These can reach an intensity of 9,000 or more queries per hour at their peak. So here, the intention of the attackers is to send a huge blast, but by the time any traditional anti-spam engine learns of this campaign and provides updates, the campaign has already finished. Both these methods are effective at staying under the radar, but hailstorm attackers deliver a double whammy and further hide their footprints by sending the spam from different fully qualified domain names, also known as FQDNs. So they use multiple subdomains, each in smaller volume, but concurrently, together creating the huge blast associated with a single second level domain. So as we have seen, the hailstorm attack spans over a short time period, usually within an hour. And it's made up of many messages sent from multiple subdomains that are all part of the same domain. Working with Talos, we found that there are hundreds of anti-spam services that are queried by our users. Companies' mail servers are sending queries to these services to combat attacks such as hailstorm. Because our 85 million DNS users have mail servers, we are able to see these query patterns. Here we see a fictitious anti-spam reputation service named checkspam.com that is queried by our users. It turns out that the FQDN in question is part of the query that is sent to these services. In this example, aspam.ru, bspam.ru, etc. We isolate the suspect hailstorm FQDN from the queries and collect in the region of 100,000 suspicious domains per hour and sometimes even more. Every hour, the model graphs query volume per suspect domains sent from numerous mail servers. By automatically aggregating the graphs per suspect domains, we determine whether this shows the signs of a typical hailstorm-based sender domain. Now, when using an automated process, there's always going to be a risk of false positives. It may float like a witch, it may burn like a witch, but maybe it isn't even a witch after all. So at this point, the model uses additional automated data sets to confirm that each domain in question is in fact the source of a hailstorm attack. Over a period of about a month, this model has flagged over 22,500 hailstorm domains. Once it has been established that a domain was responsible for a hailstorm attack, we then use Whois intelligence that Umbrella has to query details of the registrant and hosting IPs for that domain. The registrant found will be placed on a watch list in case they register any other domains in the future. So to summarize, we saw how attackers hide behind high volumes of spam messages in short bursts from multiple subdomains. The sender rank statistical model is able to capture details of these suspect hailstorm senders from queries sent to Umbrella users to anti-spam reputation services, isolate the domain, and confirm that it was used for a hailstorm attack. Using Umbrella's intelligence, Whois information provides details of the registrant of the hailstorm domain. The registrant is placed on a watch list 
which looks out for any further domain registration activity from that registrant. If they register any new domains in future, those will be checked to confirm if they too are used for malicious activities and if so, will be blocked by Umbrella. So, to summarise, this is a great example of the vast insight into DNS activity that we have. Although Umbrella doesn't directly protect against spam attacks, this model is able to identify potential hailstorm domains, pivot off that information and create new intelligence about domains that may be used in future for malicious activities and then protect against them. Here at Cisco Umbrella, we're really excited about this new model and the additional protection that it will provide to our users. Thank you for watching.